So here we're going to do a uh, bird dog. So the goal here is we find a nice neutral spine. So a natural little bit of a curve in the low back, but only enough um, that the spine is nice and um, neutral. The hips are uh, right over the knees, knees under hips. Spread your fingers wide, wrists right under your shoulders. You can do this with the toes tucked under or the toes untucked. And then look down between your hands and just another note here, lift the back of your head up while you're tucking your chin in a little. That way we can avoid kind of dropping into the neck and straining there. So just like when we were engaging transverse abs on the back, we'll take a breath in, engage transverse abs here, drawing those hip points together, and then take your right arm forward and slide your left toes back behind you. Hug the right hip into midline, and you wanna to try to keep the pelvis as level as you can. Stay for your breath in, and then exhale, take your hand and your knee back down without rocking your pelvis. Inhale here. Exhale, transverse abs left hand, right leg, level pelvis, hug the left hip in, lift the back of the head up. Exhale, hand and knee meets the ground. Inhale, exhale, transverse abs, right arm forward, left leg back, hug the right hip in. Exhale, right hand, left knee back to center. Full breath in here. Breathe out, engage, transverse abs, right arm, left leg, drawing lower belly in and up, and then slowly left hand and right knee to the ground. A couple other quick little things that can happen here is that as you bring your leg in, you might start to bring it in closer. Make sure when you bring your leg back in that it just lines up with where you began so that the knees are again right underneath the hips. That's really the big one. When you're done with this, you can take the knees wide, big toes together, and then press your hips back for child's pose and just breathe into the pelvis, let the arms relax. You could even take the arms around the back. Relax here. Maybe five to eight breaths. 